swear, swear. I can lie that this is on my mind, you know. Well, when I put you like that on the mind, you know, it's my mind, you know. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video my name is Aaliyah if you're new here and in today's video we are talking about affordable skincare products but before we do that do not forget to subscribe go click that button and follow me on Instagram social media all of that and let's get right into the video so over the course of three weeks I have tested out these products which we will get right into let me just tell you guys mind your business I look a little bit of crazy I'm missing a nail and shit but you know mind your business and also I do want to butt in here and say that products that I buy might work for my skin but it might not work for yours so just be cautious and make sure that you guys are reading up on what works best for your skin this first product is from Coco Kind so insert clip <laughs> that I bought is from Coco Kind. It's a turmeric spot treatment. Um, as you guys can see, I've applied it on my face, specifically on my blemishes, which I can show you guys, but I have makeup on right now. So I applied it here, here, and on my forehead. And um, guys, I think I found a favorite. Let's say that you should be leaving it on for 20 minutes because of turmeric staining the face. Now, this actually is very true. I wouldn't say that it made a drastic like stain on my face, but it did have some sort of like yellow discoloration. It doesn't have a strong smell as well. If you are someone who uses turmeric when you're cooking, um, this is pretty inauthentic to smell. Now I love this brand because of what it advocates for. They advocate for self-love, self-care, and um, to be honest, I absolutely love and will continue to buy their products. So the next thing I got is this Matcha All Over Moisture Stick. Um, this, this did it, man, I'm telling you. It is made with coconut oil, yellow beeswax, matcha tea leaf, of course, um, and all of these ingredients make it organic and natural, and um, as for smell, it's a very, very light smell, and I think people would most likely prefer this smell over the other one. One thing I loved about this specific um, stick is the fact that it's so versatile. As you guys can see in this next clip, I actually applied it underneath my eyes as well as my lips and all over my face, which is what it says. Now this one you don't need to wash off, but it does apply very thick onto the face, so you just want to be cautious not putting on too much. But um, yeah, I'm in love with this one. This is probably my top my top five. Well, is how versatile this is. Look how small they are. They're compact. You can put them anywhere. You can also put them in your carry-on luggage. So now we're gonna go to the next product. To the next. To the next. Everything you own in the box. To the next. obsessed with this brand actually maybe I'm obsessed with this brand but I've also decided to get one more thing from them now I absolutely love serums on my face um, or anything of course like I said gel based products but this is actually an oil it's a facial chia oil it's made with omega-3 concentrate for youthful glow now I think any um, oil based product is gonna give you that natural glow um, but it says here to gently massage two to four drops of chia oil onto clean dry skin um, Based on the smell, I'm not really a huge fan of it. It did smell like cooking oil. And like I said before, I love what the brand advocates for. All around this little box, it actually tells you their purpose. Um, I think that's really important. Um, this product is for all skin types, so again, normal to combination skin. And they're, like, I, I absolutely love it. I will continue to buy their products. It's free from toxins, free from fillers, artificial colors, parabens, mineral oils, sulfates. So they really tell you pretty much everything you need to know just from this little container. So I decided to try the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Hydro Gel Instantly Quenching Skin Deeply Hydrating Leaf Skin Supple and Hydrated Mask. So let's get to the clip and let's talk about it after.
Not only did I look crazy that day, but I, I really like this product. I'm not a huge fan of sheet masks, but this is a gel-based mask. And what I loved about it is that the fact that it's so compacted with the product, I didn't feel like when applying it, it was instantly drying. I felt like it like really moisturized my face. Like honestly, if I could find a word to the way it made me feel. Yes. Yeah, I'm really excited about this. And I think you should be too. Now, I know you guys are probably going to be like, girl, you are so picky. Yes, I am. However, it's just like my skin. It's my preference. So I don't like using face wipes. Like I said, the same for sheet masks. Like, I always have time to wash my face. And to be honest, I feel like it actually dries my face out a little bit more. And although I did tell you guys my face is normal skin, it is a little bit on the sensitive side. So those kind of masks to wiping off makeup just... They don't do it for me. But I decided to try this next product. Let me get it for you guys. From Clean and Clear, and it says for bright, clean, happy skin. So I decided to try to incorporate this in my morning time routine. And ooh, let me tell you. Ugh, this was not it. Like, not it. <coughs> I'm like choking. Now, I know I looked really happy in that video, and I'm probably going to look happy in the next one as well. But it, I think it's the smell that did it for me. It just smelled like citrus, but like alcohol citrus. It didn't smell like natural. Um, I still think this can come in handy specifically because of how small it is. It also is a carry-on size, which allows me to bring it on the airport whenever I need to travel. But, but nobody's traveling in 2020, sis. So... For 2021, I'm able to travel with this. Um, it's also very compacted with the product. I can feel it, I can hear it. It just seems very soaked, which I love. Um, but I feel like I would most likely use this for maybe like after the gym or you know, a little appointment, something like that. Like I don't think I would use this in my morning time routine because like I said, I like to wash my face. Um, so I feel like this just I feel like this wasn't it, but um, yeah, like I said, it might work out for you. I don't know. Speaking of smell, oh God. Let's just enter the clip and we'll talk about it because honey, this was just not it. Like if that other product wasn't it, this is like, this was not it. I have no words. me dancing in that video honest to god i did not know what i was in for now if you saw this product you're probably just like girl this is so 2009 yes it is 2009 it's real old i know but i decided to try it because it is in the affordable price range so less than ten dollars um this is a black peel off mask from garnier the mask is actually made with charcoal and it says here strips out impurities and reduces the look of pores it's for all skin types with clogged pores now, I know you're probably like, well, you just said your skin is normal. Yes, it is. I still just wanted to participate in the trend. And, of course, that is the reason why when I ripped it off, there was absolutely nothing on my face. Quite frankly, I'm not a big fan of, like, this trend, specifically because of the way people were ripping it off their skin and thought it was a joke. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I just felt like, you know, it's time to try it. Let's try it. And I, I have no words. Like... I absolutely hated this product from the smell of just it smelled like men's cologne along with alcohol and it was just like very very strong like headache strong um, and so to be honest like I did keep it on for the 20 minutes and actually I kept it on longer than 20 minutes because it really doesn't tell you how much to apply so if you apply more you're sitting there longer with it waiting for it to dry it was absolutely painful to take off and Honestly, I got nothing from taking it off. Like, I didn't see anything. And, of course, that does mean I probably don't have, like, really clogged pores. And, uh, yeah, this this wasn't it. So, I'm doing a giveaway. I'm <laughs> doing a giveaway. I'm joking. But, yeah, no, definitely wasn't it. Next. <laughs> And last but not least, guys, this is probably the one part that did surprise me the most. It's Burt's and Bees Hydrating Gel Cream Made with Royal Jelly for skin nourishment. Um, now, if you're like me, I actually thought Burt's Bees only had, like, lip care products. So, like, lipstick, chapsticks, whatever. 
Um, but I was pleasantly surprised to see that they have a skincare collection. And so I decided to get this one, of course, because it is gel-based product. If I can compare this to my Origins, also skin nourishing cream, there is a lot of differences between them. So this one specifically, I thought that it was more on the water-based side. And now their first ingredient is water, which is really good. But it really, like, you can't even twitch with this. The minute you shake your hand or the minute you, like, try to lean for something, this whole thing is pouring out. It is so gel-based that it literally, like, just look at that. Like, it takes two seconds and this thing is, like, pouring out. First is that is my Origin Skin Nourishing Cream, which, unfortunately, is not with me right now. But, um... I feel like that is more of a... Who's staring at me right now? Is he staring at me? I feel like that is more of a skin cream gel-based product. I think I, I'm like more along liking those products more. Um, but this product, I feel like three weeks doesn't give it justice. And I definitely want to keep trying it. My favorite products would definitely be the All Over Matcha Skin Care Stick. As well as the Hydrating Sheet, guys. Like... Who am I? Like, I can't believe I literally just said this. But yeah, like Neutrogena and Cococine, 100% hands down, were probably my favorite product. If you got this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I'm super, super excited to be able to give you guys frequent content, especially during quarantine. Um, I've been trying to post once a week, and, and yeah, it, I'm loving it, honestly. I'm loving the fact that I do have this time, considering that I do work full time. So it's really good that I'm able to share with you guys some of my favorite skincare products, testing out some of your favorite skincare products. So if you do have any YouTube suggestions, any videos that you want to see from me, comment down below and welcome to the family if you're new here.